I'm Maddie Lee, joined by Joe Masato at Chesapeake Energy Arena, where the Thunder has just beaten the 76ers 127-119. to 119. Uh, Another good game against a really good Eastern Conference opponent tonight, and this time the Thunder come away with the win. Yeah, I mean, less than a week ago they almost beat the Bucks at Chesapeake Energy Arena, and now you beat the 76ers, one of the best teams in the East, the biggest team in the NBA <laughs> size-wise, and the Thunder sort of went toe-to-toe with them and came out with a really impressive win. Yeah, it was fascinating watching the matchups because you have a guy like Ben Simmons who – is playing shooting guard and is 6'9". Like, that's a tough matchup, especially when the Thunder, I mean, their guards are very small. Even Shea Gilgis Alexander, long, Mm -hmm. you think of him as a long, tall guard, and he looked tiny next to Ben Simmons. Um, But the way the especially big piece of that was matching up on Joel Embiid, and the Thunder ended up adjusting their rotations so that, for the most part, there were some exceptions in the first and fourth quarter, but for the most part, you had Adams on Embiid. And so then Nerlens Noel would take those second unit minutes and uh, match up on Al Horford. Yeah, I mean, it was like clockwork sometimes. The chess game between Brett Brown and Billy Donovan down the stretch, uh, Embiid goes to the score table, here comes Adams. And those matchups were fun to watch. And and I, I thought one of the most impressive ones was Chris Paul. He was guarding Tobias Harris down the stretch. He's giving about eight inches on Tobias Harris, and Chris Paul really led the Thunder, I thought, in the fourth quarter uh, and overtime, offensively and defensively. Yeah, Thunder were very strong down the stretch, whereas the 76ers started kind of falling apart. They were fouling a lot, a lot of dumb fouls. We had a bunch of guys foul out, including Tobias Harris. So... And Ben Simmons. Yeah. So very key parts of their team started fouling out, and so that's really where it began to unravel in overtime. Yeah, and, and speaking of fouls, I mean, the Thunder, uh, they they shot 35, free, made 35 free throws, shot 41. 76ers made 15 free throws, and Brett Brown's first comments after the game were, was about that free throw discrepancy, and, you know, the Thunder just kept going at the 76ers, kept attacking them. Um, and eventually pulled this one out. Yeah, Thunder fans from the last few years are probably staring at that box score (laughs) like they can't believe it. But you had Chris Paul and Daniel Gallinari going perfect from the line. Chris Paul had 12, Gallinari had 11, neither missed a free throw. So, I mean, those are the little things that the Thunder needs to keep doing well, especially when they're going up against teams that, on paper, are just better than them. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of... Chris Paul and Danilo Gallinari, I mean, they connected on what I thought was the biggest shot of the game, a a Gallinari three-pointer down the stretch that put the Thunder up six. And both of those guys said after the game that, you know, that that, that finally felt like kind of their signature moment in this arena where all the fans were behind them, and um, you could tell it meant a lot to them. Well, next, the Thunder is leaving this arena, heading out to Los Angeles, where they will play the Clippers and then the Lakers on a back-to-back on Monday and Monday Tuesday. And Tuesday. <laughs> the days are running together. <laughs> but first, uh, enjoy some post-game video from Chris Paul, Daniel Gallinari, and Terrence Ferguson. Anyone else? I think that's it.